When John Brackett lost a lower limb to type 2 diabetes a few months ago, he did not foresee that collecting his invalidity benefits from the Social Security Board would be an issue. In fact, the cab driver, who is now limited to a pair of crutches, was confident that having exceeded the required 500 contributions, accessing government assistance was the next step in adjusting to his new reality. And I have submitted my application with what have been asked for. Um, it was accepted for about half an hour. And um, they have asked me, they have asked me to go, they have asked me to go and get a medical report from Carl Hushner Hospital, which I did from the doctor which does the amputation, the operation on my feet. On June 16th, Dr. Jose Moguel, the general surgeon who carried out the removal below brackets the right knee, wrote on his behalf to confirm that the 53-year-old has indeed been diagnosed with diabetes mellitus. The letter came after brackets application was rejected by SSB. I went and I get the letter. This is the letter. And it stated that I am diagnosed with uh, um, diabetes and that my foot have been amputated and I am taking medication for it and I am doing follow-up with the doctor. I have pres when I presented this, um, this letter from, from the hospital, I was turned on, they gave, uh, the lady took my application, took it to the back in another office and then she came back out and she said, um, well, you cannot get any claim because um, you cannot get any benefit because of, of the time that you were, not, you were not working. So that was from 2019 up to, like, up to this month. Deborah Ruiz, Chief Executive Officer of the Social Security Board, told News 5 that the existing requirements specify that beneficiaries must be employed up to three months of the time that they take sick. We cover in the short term for sickness benefit and invalidity benefit, right? Now, sickness he would not qualify for again because you said he hasn't worked since 2019. And based on the current rules, you have to be in insurable employment in the 13 weeks prior to when you fall ill. The same is the situation with invalidity. If you have not been working in the last um, five years prior to when you fell sick, then you may fall short. Brackett maintains, however, that he is more than qualified to receive his benefits based on the number of contributions he amassed while he was employed. A document from the SSB calculates his contributions at 654. Those payments go all the way back to 1988 when he was employed at the Belize Bank. Brackett's most recent contributions were 13 payments that were made by Aqua de Caribe Luxury in 2019. What I am relying on is that I have 654 contributions with the Social Security Board and I believe that I should be compensated and, and that's the reason why I'm here. Now, they have asked me to do certain things which I, I don't see it necessary. Like for instance, they want to know why I am not working, why I'm not employed from that time. That is my personal business. The fact is that you ask for contribution to be made to Social Security Board from my pay since I was employed. According to CEO Ruiz, the number of contributions made on Brackett's behalf is sufficient for him to collect retirement pension. On the other hand, the amputee is seven years away from becoming pensionable. We have the different benefits under the long term. 654 contributions is enough to qualify you for a retirement pension. Unfortunately, retirement pension is not payable until age 60. For the past two days, Brackett, who some would remember from his days of activism, has been staging another one-man protest in front of SSB's office here in Belize City. What do you expect to get out of it? Do you expect that at the end of all of this that SSB will follow suit and 
properly compensate you on a monthly basis as other pensioners? Well, I am expecting that. I'm expecting that. I'm expecting anything, though. Because if I have to raise the level of demonstration, I might even die and don't get anything. But what will happen is that they will deal with other citizens on a more professional basis. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayazano.